Hi everybody, my name is Dylan. My name is Damien. And we're going to teach you how to unwind. So basically we've gathered a couple of activities here recommended by doctors and specialists which are going to help you relieve your anxiety and stress. As many people stay home during coronavirus outbreak, some people have turned out cooking or baking. Psychologists also say spending time in the kitchen can help relieve stress and improve your mental health. Hey guys, the second way how to unwind is nature. Nature also presents scenes that gently capture your attention instead of suddenly snatching it, calming your nerves instead of frazzling them. Hey guys, so our third activity that's going to help you unwind is exercise. Did you know that captivating yourself in an indoor gym is very unhealthy compared to exercising in nature? It's a great way to unwind and release your anxiety to the world. A study completed in the medical department of Princeton states that 82% of athletes enjoy exercising outdoors much more than they do in a contained gym area. So Damien, what is our next method of unwinding? Meditation. That's right. Meditation is a great way to practice relaxation techniques. Taking the time to relax every day helps to manage stress and to protect the body from effects of stress. You can choose from a variety of techniques our recommended technique is meditation. Other techniques include deep breathing, imagery, and progressive muscle relaxation, which are all inclusive within meditation, as approved by Damien and I and doctor specialists. There are many online smartphone apps that provide guidance on these techniques. Although some entail purchase costs, many are free of charge. This means that you have your own resources within your pocket to relax and meditate whenever you may please. So, many of you may be wondering, how do I meditate properly? Well, our good German friend Damien will be giving us a great example. Damien, please close your eyes. Alrighty, so, you can see our first instruction is to close the eyes. This is going to give you a nice passive state in which you see nothing and will help you experience nothingness. First, please put your hands up on your knees. You will be on crisscross applesauce typically on an elevated stone, just like Damien is here. Out here in school works perfectly if you have a free hour that you are able to meditate in. You will be taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Do 10 at a time and just focus just on your breathing pattern. Now this is a technique that is gonna help you unwind and become stress-free. And once you realize that you are not even focusing on anything but your breathing, you are doing an excellent job. If you're too stressed out, you may experience a panic attack. Panic attacks are sudden, unreasonable feelings of fear and anxiety that cause physical symptoms like a racing heart, fast breathing, and sweating. Some people become so fearful of these panic attacks that they develop panic disorder or a type of disorder. Therapy and anxiety medication can stop panic attack as well as medication or calming people down. So you may ask yourself, what should I do when someone is experiencing a panic attack? Well, Damien is going to show you. So as you can see here, our friend Jacob is having a panic attack. Damien will safely approach him, nice, calm and slowly, put him in the crisscross applesauce position. And now Damien is gonna tell him to breathe deep in and out. Our next activity will build off of experiencing the beauty of nature. As you can see here, I am walking my dog. Her name is Tesla. Walking a dog is better at combating stress than walking alone because it cuts down on the release of chemicals known to trigger depression and anxiety. More specifically, a study in Tokyo at the University of Animal Health Technology shows that after sampling 14 dog owners, the levels of GABA chemical were up to 40% higher in those not walking with a dog in the wilderness.
This essentially means that those walking with a dog experienced less stress overall. Research has shown that simply petting a dog lowers the stress hormone cortisol, while the social interaction between people and their dogs actually increases levels of the feel-good hormone oxycotton, the same hormone that bonds mothers to babies. In fact, an astonishing 84% of post-traumatic stress disorder patients paired with a service dog reported a significant reduction of symptoms and 40% were able to decrease their medication, reported a recent survey. You may not think of lifting weights as a way to reduce stress, but it's another form of exercise that gives you an outlet for the buildup of tension and stress. When you lift weights, you not only strengthen your body, but build confidence and self-worth. That mental and physical strength makes life easier and that alone easier stress. Although we said earlier in the video exercising in nature is good, depending on the preference of the person, it's sometimes better for them working in the gym. Our last method of unwinding is sleep. A lack of sleep can cause the body to react as if it's in distress, releasing more of the stress hormone cortisol. Cortisol is responsible for your fight or flight reaction to danger, which you may have heard about in biology class, increasing your heart rate in anticipation of a fight. Too much cortisol, however, can lead to weight gain and cardiovascular issues over time. This often occurs when poor sleeping habits prevent the body from regulating its hormone levels overnight. In fact, getting less than five hours of sleep a night has been linked to cortisol-related issues like high blood pressure. You may also notice an increase in cortisol levels when not practicing our other methods of unwinding such as walking the dog or meditation. Thank you for listening to our TED Talk and learning how to unwind. We hope you learned a few methods that you can apply to your own lifestyle. And please remember, work hard, play hard, but rest harder.